Hmm. Huh. Things feel different. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? I think so. 427, that's me. Bit of a mess. Lit. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. He said it. I'm done with righty door. For now. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Pretty well timed this narration, Malarkey. Nice out of bathroom. I really wanna Hey, it opens. Huh. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Time magazine. Picture of time. Nice. Why didn't this open before? I wanted it to, it wasn't there for me. This glass looks frosted over. They should get the thermostat checked in here. Okay, that's so that's open. Okay. The choices. Uh lovely. Charming. Well, we ain't done breaking rules yet. I don't know this song. Why am I singing along? I'm accompanying. That's it. Tell you what I'll do. I'll cheat. I'll just do it a second later and then fix it in anything. You know I can't do that. It's like it's like playing Simon, but like constantly. I just can't remember it. <laughs> All right, bloody yellow bear, man. Just stop anytime soon. Right, and bloody moved. Fine, I'm just waiting here. Ugh. I suppose now would be a good time for a channel update. But I'm not going to do one because I haven't, I haven't got one planned, so... <laughs> so, so I need to sit through this. Luckily you guys don't. You know, is it maybe too meta of me to not only be playing a game which is confronting me with meta discussions and philosophies and possibilities and choices, and at the same time be very meta about the fact that I am also recording this for a YouTube video? Are my choices perhaps affected in a way that the game cannot plan for because it's a YouTube video? Such as any endings which require me... Any endings which require me to wait a long time, such as an ending like this, potential ending like this, but it's very possibly just a red herring, are less likely to be included because I am recording this. Not only the limitations of a... Uh, this entire elevator is bloody shaking. <laughs> Not only the limitations of the fact that I need to keep this video entertaining, but the fact that I need to conserve hard drive space, which I really don't have too much of a problem with, but if there's a secret ending which, say, involves me waiting for an hour in this elevator, then I'm never going to find it because I need to be recording the whole time. I suppose I could stop recording and then just start recording again, but then they get syncing issues, it's kind of against the spirit of the thing, I might not have my headset plugged in, I might have another video playing on in the background, I could use my phone to play videos. I think I'm gradually solving this problem over time as it is, you know, but by the time, you know, I feel like 
having said all that, I think you guys have a fairly high tolerance for kind of waiting and things like that, because if you didn't, you probably still wouldn't be listening to me ramble. You'd just be looking at the thumbnail on the sort of like track, the YouTube tracker thing. That thing's so handy. It is very good at like helping us track progress, because quite often when I watch Let's Play videos, I find that the Let's Play is a little bit slow sometimes, and I skip ahead. I skip ahead to the bits where I know they make progress, particularly when it's a game I haven't watched before, because sometimes they are a little bit slow, you know? So you'll be able to see just by going through the track and the timeline that I'm just standing here, just waiting for absolutely nothing to happen in the hope that something will eventually happen. But, I don't know. It's not really happening. I like the music, though. Once again, if I get a copyright strike on this, I'm not going to be happy, but I think they may be planned for that. Possibly. Hopefully. I don't know. I got a copyright thing on my Dragon Age Origins video. I had to remove that. I had to remove that song at the end of the Dragon Age Origins series that was my, I don't know, was, I'm terrible with things. It was, it's some of the same guys who did This Is War, but for some reason the second song they used for the credits meant that this video can play in Germany. Copyright rules are weird, man. I'm not sure. That's why I'm kind of nervous. Like, doing a Let's Play is kind of like a high-risk job. Because if you start making money off this and then you use, I don't know, three songs which are worth or somebody doesn't like three of your videos, then your channel gets deleted. I don't have much of an online presence anywhere else. I'd lose a bunch of you. And I love all you guys. All... At currently 651 of you subscribers, but yeah, you guys won't follow me on Twitter or anything like that, so I wouldn't be able to cry and say, hey, I'm gonna make a new channel with Blackjack and Hookers, you can follow me there, but no, I'd probably just slip into the ether forever. And I've had YouTubers like that before. Well, not had them, but I have known... <laughs> I've known YouTubers like that before, and it's just kind of, they just disappeared. And it's always a real shame when it happens, because they're taking all their work with them. All these experiences that they're cataloging, particularly the ones who do things first time. That's why I play games for the first time on a channel like this, is because it's a moment in time you're capturing, and that's something extremely valuable. Speaking of time, this has gone on way too long. Wow, I gave myself a headache there. <laughs> I'm truly sorry for that, guys. That's... That was a... Uh... The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Enough music already! Had enough of that for this run, run this run time. This uh, run through, this this ending goal. Fine, you're punishing me with more waiting. I apologize. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly <sighs> walked forward into the opened passageway. This game is hilarious. <laughs> there we go again. I honestly feel like I'm starting to run out of pathways. I have the on button at the end, and that's about the only one I know of. There's what, one, two, three, five thing? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I forgot to count out five. And it's recorded forever on YouTube. Joy. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm walking backwards for Christmas. Across the Irish Sea. The lights <gasps> rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Can I get out here? No, I can't. Fair enough. I was wondering. I'm now, I'm now uh, foraging for options, as it were. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Hmm.
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? You know, as stories go, this mind control thing and its intended ending, it's kind of a... It is bad short story material because there's no real opposition, except for me just walking ahead. Maybe a thought, maybe a, a thought kind of, uh, a thoughts based narrative, which is fine. Revelation character and all that. No, he refused to believe it. Like he so. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Right, I'm doing it properly this time. One, two, three. See, there's all that up there. It's got to be a way. Four. See, sometimes they make different noises. I suppose it's something I should pay attention to. There's all these numbers on the wall. 0142001. 0521. 0521. Five. Don't do anything. There's 10 there. Okay, so 10. Is there maybe a hidden button somewhere? Home? Kind of hard to tell. Ah, There's gotta be a way to get that down. Huh. Don't know what I'm achieving, really. What's this? I wish it was a zero button I could find. That's all I need to complete these codes. Okay, let me try something. One. I feel like this is now try things o'clock. First time I feel like I can't just get to an ending just stumbling upon it. I don't think there's going to be any credit screen for this thing. Well, I think there is, but I think I had it already. Back in the behind the scenes room. I think the only way I win Yeah, I think the only way to maybe complete this game is to find everything. And there's going to come a point where I reckon I will just turn it off. I can't open... I can't touch the big red button. Are you kidding me? God, I thought for, so for sure I'd just find shit there. Hmm. Well, there's no zero. Not for anything. So let's do at least one option that we know of. Mind controls, idle. Awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end was to that? this horrible... Oh, Stanley. <laughs> you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? I've earned it. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Hmm? If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, 
Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh -oh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, <laughs> eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Oh, jeez. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about ah. me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Ah, but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yes! I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Ah. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Hey, you narrator. <laughs> My controller's vibrating. It knows something's happening.